What is going on, Jets? It's RPM here, coming into with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, this article is going to actually focus on something that I like to talk about in regards to women when they decide that they want to call the authorities on you. And it's going to revolve around two simple words. Response time. Now, this article was published on the 14th of August. Dispatcher, here's man tell girlfriend, quote unquote, game over before he fatally shoots her. This guy went straight the fuck up jigsaw on his girlfriend. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A former Macomb County man told his live-in girlfriend, quote, unquote, game over. Seconds before he fatally shot her in the head Friday night in their Oregon Township home in Lapeer County, according to authorities. Michael Schock, 40, who previously lived in the Romeo area, was charged with open termination and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony in the shooting deletion of Jennifer Pilato, 38, following a dispute in their home off Mount Morris Road in Oregon Township, according to Lapeer County prosecutors. Shock was arraigned Monday by Judge Laura Bernard of 71A District Court in Lapeer and was ordered to be held in jail without bond. Pilato called 911 at 11 p.m. and told a dispatcher Shock was pointing a gun at her in their residence northwest of the city of Lapeer and southwest of the village of Columbiaville, according to Chief Assistant Lapeer County Prosecutor Paul Walton. Quote, unquote, don't point a gun at me, she said. Walton recounted in describing the conversation heard by the dispatcher that was also related in court. Quote, unquote, game over, Shock said. Stop, Pilato replied. Game over, he repeated and fired a single shot to the back of her head, Walton added. Damn, straight execution style. The phone remained connected and Pilato could be heard breathing heavily, he said. Shock said, and ladies, this is the most crucial piece of advice that can be given to you in today's day and age especially in today's extremely volatile environment. Quote, unquote, all you had to do was shut the fuck up, according to Walton. Responding, Lapeer County Sheriff's deputies attempted life-saving measures. Shock was arrested and Pilato 
was transported by Lapeer County EMS to McLaren Lapeer Regional Hospital, where she was pronounced deleted, according to sheriff's officials. An autopsy was performed by the Oakland County Medical Examiner's Office. Walton said that the slaying was the first homicide in the mostly rural county in five years. Shock, who faces an August 23rd probable cause conference in front of Bernard, was provided a court-appointed attorney, Frederick Miller of Metamora in Lapeer County. He declined to comment Tuesday. Shock may still retain an attorney. Well, well, well. Ladies, we keep trying to tell you, men of today are no longer going to tolerate you. Obviously, they were having a fight. And sometimes, ladies, like this man said, sometimes simply shutting the fuck up can be the difference between you continuing to draw breath on this earth or you taking that eternal dirt nap. Oh yeah, ladies, trust and believe more and more men will snap the fuck out, especially in scenarios like this. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, it went down in the home. Gonna give that a 10. Method of execution. Obviously, the problem solving pistol. Gonna give that a five. Psychological impact. Since the dispatcher had to actually hear the entire conversation and hear what went down, I'm going to give that a 50. And for the brutality factor, execution style, going to give that a 15. So Michael, shockwave, shock, gets a score of 80. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to circle back to what I was previously talking about in regards to response time. You see, ladies, when you decide you're going to call the authorities on your man, your husband, your boyfriend, whoever, you got to calculate that response time. Let's just say in that county, the response time was, oh, 10 minutes. And I'm being extremely generous because nowadays the way police respond, um, yeah, 10 minutes, that would be a miracle. But let's just say for the sake, the sake of argument, excuse me, 10 minutes is their response time. She's on the phone with 911. He's already got the burner on you. That gives that man nine minutes and 30 seconds to absolutely fuck you up. See, that's part of the equation that women don't understand. They think, oh, I'm going to call the police on you. I'm going to sick the gun of the state on you. And a man is just supposed to sit there frozen in fear saying, oh my God, please don't do that. No, 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 no. That will have the opposite effect. You call the police on a man, oh, that gives him enough time to actually make whatever scenario that you were calling about come true. Oh, my boyfriend's threatening to beat me up. Well, that means a domestic. That means he's going to jail regardless. So he might think to himself, well, since she already called the authorities on me 
and I'm going to go to jail anyway. Guess what? I may as well, I may as well, excuse me, not make her a liar. And he might decide to beat the brakes off of you. But once again, these women in their pea-sized brains don't think that far ahead. It's, oh, I'm going to call the police or I'm going to threaten to call the police. That way you're going to automatically, quote unquote, get back in line. No, ladies. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Just like this woman found out. Oh, just because you have 911 on the phone? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is not going to be some shield that's going to automatically protect you. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And gentlemen, once again, it has been thoroughly proven that when a woman decides, oh, I'm going to call the police on you, they're not just going to instantly show up there. No, 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 ladies. No, no, no. You think that by calling the police or threatening to call the police, that man's going to restrain himself. Or you think somehow he's going to collapse and just beg and plead to make you feel better. Nope. In most cases, that just thoroughly enrages the man because he knows a cage is going to be in his future regardless, which goes back to what I say, ladies. When a man no longer cares about the consequences of his actions, he will act. So you better understand this, ladies, and you better understand this crystally clear. The power you think you have in being able to call the boys in blue to be able to use the gun of the state against a man in your life, that power will go out. Feminism and the idea that by summoning the gynocratic goons that that man is going to quote unquote fall to his knees and beg and plead for you not to do so, that's going to go out right along with it. Because once again, this scenario thoroughly proves there is no magical force shield. There is no instant white knight that's going to teleport in and get that man off of you. No, quite the opposite. You were on the phone with the goons of the state. And guess what? He decided, you know what? Hey, game over. I'm going to turn your console off. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up. Murder on my mind. Yeah. Losing all my hope. Yeah. I'm going to do the crime. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'm going to take the black pill. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'm going to take the black pill.